Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to jot down another entry into the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia by examining the Bomu Bomu no Mi. The Bomu Bomu no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to make any part of their body explode. It was consumed by Mr. Five and made its debut showcase in the series during the events of Whiskey Peak. This fruit derives its name directly from the Japanese word for bomb, bomu. This is a loan word from the one true language English, which was stolen from the French word bomb, which was stolen from the Italian word bomba, which was stolen from the Latin word bombus, which was stolen from the ancient Greek word bombos, meaning booming, humming, or buzzing. As a result of this, most English translations kept it exactly the same and decided to dub it the bomb bomb fruit, except on this occasion for the Viz Manga translation, who chose to label it as the boom boom fruit, presumably in an effect to mimic the Japanese onomatopoeia a naming scheme that usually comes with devil fruits. All right, so we have a pretty damn cool fruit on our hands here as the ability to generate explosions is probably the most destructive fruit we've entered into the encyclopedia thus far. First of all, there really is no condition to creating an explosion. You just can from anywhere. Hands, feet, nose, colon, you just name it and you can detonate it at will. Unfortunately, there's no real way to measure the exact power of said explosions, but we can say that the power of each individual blast is in direct correlation to how much of the user's body they choose to commit to that particular boom. For example, an explosion generated from the user's hand will be substantially more powerful than one generated from a fingertip. So I guess you could think of the user's body as a source of fuel for explosive techniques, except that it's actually far better than that, because the body of the Bomo Bomo no Mi user is a source of infinite fuel. If the user chooses to explode their arm, then well, that happens. And afterwards, the arm is still there, ready and willing to detonate once more. Because not only does it not get used as fuel, but the user's body also becomes immune to explosive damage, and not just damage generated by the fruit's powers, but explosions in general, which all of a sudden makes this fruit pretty damn amazing. But we're not even stopping there, because the Bomu Bomu no Mi provides one other incredible ability, which is the power to turn any bodily generated substance, you know, like mucus, saliva, semen, into explosive material. So, you know, you could spit on someone and have that explode, or even do what Mr. Five does, and flick dried snot into people's general direction at great speeds. In fact, I should point out that even the user's breath counts towards this explosion ability, which is incredibly absurd, but hey, there it is. So what we end up with is a preposterously dangerous close combat fighter who has the option of using a certain degree of range, which is entirely dependent on how far they can fling their various bodily secretions. Although there are a couple of disadvantages associated with the fruit, first and foremost being that there doesn't seem to be a clear way to increase or even decrease the potency of explosions without using more or less of your bodily material. So while this fruit would work wonders against rookie combatants, it runs the risk of becoming fairly ineffective against stronger opponents due to the fixed damage. I mean, to be fair, a user may be able to increase the strength of their explosions in correlation with their own physical strength, but that is entirely speculation. The second potential weakness of the fruit is that explosions appear to require a conscious activation. So if an opponent were to sneak up on the Bob and Bob and user and smack them in the back, then there would be no defensive explosion. Of course, this is probably for the best because otherwise you could accidentally be exploding all over the place whenever you do stupid shit like running into a door. Still, I think it's worth pointing out that it's a power that consciously needs to be used, meaning that in the hands of a poor user, it's going to be pretty wasted. Speaking of, let's move to Mr. Fife himself. He's a pretty competent user of the Bomu Bomu no Mi, but just as with his partner, Miss Valentine, he has a habit of overly relying on it. Although he has come up with some very creative uses of the fruit, the most intriguing of which is breathing into empty chambers of a pistol and firing explosive breath bullets. However, I can't help but feel that this fruit was wasted potential in Mr. Fife's hands, because a guy who can make any part of his body explode at will should not have lost so easily twice, I might add. And in my opinion, Mr. Five's tactic of small controlled explosions was the exact opposite of what this fruit should have been used for. And he should have gone for a more chaotic style, somewhat like Gladius from the Don Quixote family. Different devil fruits I know, but for the large majority of the time, Mr. Five chose to only use a tiny fraction of the power granted to him. So in the end, it's no surprise that he was beaten swiftly. But changing our focus to the area of awakening, I imagine the Bomu Bomu no Mi would rather simply result in the user having the ability to explode the environment around them within a certain radius. So this might be pretty uncreative of me, but I feel like it would have a very similar effect to Gladius's devil fruit, the Pamu Pamu no Mi, except that it wouldn't require the user of the Bomu Bomu no Mi to touch what they intended to blow up. But still having insane abilities to blow up whatever you see fit at any given point still seems like a pretty crazy 
the ability. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming an exploding human. Despite the lack of knowledge concerning the potency of explosions, Mr. Five has said that if he explodes with his full body within point blank range of an opponent, then the ensuing detonation will be so powerful that the victim will be completely eviscerated, bones and all. Partaking in the Bomo Bomo no Mi will also provide you with the ability to evaluate explosive material upon consumption. This was seen when Mr. Five commented on how poor quality Usopp's gunpowder was after eating one of his gunpowder star attacks. To conclude, the Bomu Bomu no Mi is a particularly power-packed fruit, suited quite specifically for combat and demolition. There isn't a huge amount of benefit to everyday existence, and there is real concern in regards to the fixed damage nature of the explosions, but even then that's only a concern when we're thinking in terms of the One Piece world. In reality, this fruit would be ridiculously powerful, with even the tiniest of explosions capable of causing serious damage. So yeah, if that's your jam, then 10 out of 10, highly recommended. But if you're looking for something a bit more versatile and less, well, explodey, then I'd say hold off. And with that, we are going to commit the Bomu Bomu no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we will be examining a very well-known fruit belonging to the Straw Hats archaeologist Nico Robin, the Hana Hana no Mi. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Bomu Bomu no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.